I'm going to paste that in there. Now, so div style opens it. You need to keep that there. So here in the width, you enter how tall your how tall your picture is. So mine was 800. No, how wide your picture was. Excuse me. Height, how high your picture was. Ours was 1,000 pixels. And then here, just ignore all this stuff I'm passing. Then here in this URL, where the teeny pick URL is, is going where you put your image, your background, layout background image URL. Now make, that's already just one I'm using. So here it is, so we copy that. And now we put it between the brackets. If it's not between the brackets, it won't work and it'll just screw up your whole layout. So make sure it's between the brackets. Like that. So let's go back. Sorry, it's not ready yet. And then so you just have to, so down past that, it got width again, so just 800 and height, 1000. And just ignore all that other stuff. So here's the image. Now that is your, the text box at the moment, but that's not where we want it to be. So now I'm going to teach you how to change it. Div style is opening and that div is closing. Make sure you keep those and never get rid of these two divs because they close your whole layout. Without them, the layout won't work. So just keep them there. I like to have a space between every text box and every um, different bit of the layout so I know what I'm doing. So here where it says width, this is how wide you want your text box to be. So let's just quickly have a look how wide it is already. So it's not wide enough. Okay, I think the easiest thing to do right now is do margin top, sorry. Margin top is how far away the top of the text box is from the top of the picture. So here, it's only seven, that's only 17 pixels from there to there. So we've got to make that a whole lot more. So we're going to go 100. This is called number, I just call this number jumping. So, nope. 120. And 160 seems to be our magic. No, no, just sec. There. 170 seems to be our magic number. Now, never ever do the margin from the top by looking at how far the text is from the top of the text box. Always look at the scroll bar. When the scroll bar hits the top of the text box, that's where it should be. Because if you're writing, because I will tell you now, your writing will look like it fits, but then if you look at your scroll bar, your scroll bar will be too high. So even though the writing's a little bit down, that's perfect. So now, We'll go move on. See how it's not in our text box? We're going to move on to margin left. So that's currently 15, which is a little bit too lot, uh, small. So we're going to go 25. Nope, 30. I always do it by fives, but sometimes you have to be a bit more precise. There we go, 35 seems to be our magic number. Now, we've got to figure out how, what, now our layer, that's the end of our text box, but here, it's only ending here. So we've got to make that wider. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to width, we're going to make that 600. Nope, 650. Nope. 
Nope. Nope. Gonna go seven hundred. No, seven ten. A little bit more. A little bit more. Seven eighteen. And that seems about perfect. What I tend to like is I like a little bit of space between the edge of the box and the scroll bar. Just that little bit of line. So that's that's a perfect width. So that is the perfect width. Now let's have a look at how high our text box is. That's how high it that's how big the text box is. But let's see. So that's way too big. So first, now, so what we're going to do is we're going to make this a lot smaller. So I'm going to go 200. Nope. 240. A little bit more. 248. And 250. I'm going to go 253. That might be it. Nope, 255. No, 258, and that'll probably be perfect. Yeah, that's it. No, make it 60. Yeah, that's okay, that's perfect. Now, no, I know there's been a lot of HTML changes lately, but this one does work, I guarantee it. Save that. So here, there we go. It does work. See there, that little bit of this little bit of writing is because just to show you the scrolly powers of this scrolly box, I've put heaps of spaces in there, so it's just going up and down, up and down. Because and. In these new in the new HTML setting, you can't press. If you want to go a space down, you can't press enter. It doesn't work that way. What you do though is see this. You go br in the HTML code. That is the HTML sign for. That is the HTML sign for space. Now, next up, we have to do the next text box. So what we do is we grab this code here, copy, paste. There we go. So now we need to change some of these. So the width would be the same. The height, I'm going to make that, no, we'll just leave that for now. Margin from top, now. The reason why this is so low and yet it should be so so it should be up in this in this top text box here is because when you add when you add one text box the, if you add a text box below it the text box below us a lot below it thinks that the top of the layout is actually the text box above it the bottom of the text box above it here that's where it thinks it is so we got to go Margin from top, 50. See? That is perfect. Now, we're just going to make... 
that is perfect. So we're just going to make this, it should be about the same width, but it's a little bit small. It's a little bit small. So we're going to go width 18. There, that's perfect. Down, 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 down. Yeah. Okay, now let's see if this, this text box isn't big enough. Yeah, it's not. So what we're going to do is we're going to go height 400. I'm going to see if that's big enough. Nope, it's not. So we're going to go... There, that's perfect. So that was quick and easy. So now what we're going to do is I'm just going to quickly get something. Some writing and I'm going to show you something. I'm just going to copy that off my real layout. Now HTML mode for this bit it's easier just to go, grab this here, leave that div with the slash, that's the closing div. So here, and you need that piece. So copy that. Okay, so when we go in, the scroll box isn't working anymore because there isn't enough text. But I'm going to show you something. So here is your writing. You can just keep typing away here. Now, so that's all good, but maybe, but because you can't use spaces, or they're really big, what we want to do is we want to space this writing. So once at here we want to get keep typing away from here for ages and ages bel below that that so what we're going to do is we're going to go in there so here we've got all this so what we do is it's I find it easier to go space space now that won't do anything what you got to do to get those two spaces you go then go down now if you want put one br in there it'll go like that see it's just it's gone to the next space but i want there to be a space between them so we go br and then before the k and now it's spaced for this second text box it's the exact same now so we'll save that now that is how you make a layout, a simple layout, and how to code your very own horse layout. I've hoped you have actually learnt something, and please subscribe, comment, and like. The, um, the template code for you to use is in the description of this video. So, yeah, okay. Bye!